Okay, we're gonna look at keyboard shortcuts in this lesson and I made sure to also annotate it with the Windows shortcuts up in this corner of the screen. So, hope you enjoy. Let's take a quick look at the different keyboard commands that will help you out. So I'm gonna press Command Option I to open DevTools, Control Shift I on Windows. And if I wanna get a full list of the shortcuts, I can go down here and go to Shortcuts. And it shows me a list of all the different things that I can do in the different modes in Chrome Developer Tools. But I'm gonna share with you the couple that I find the most useful. So right now, let's assume I'm in the Elements panel. I can press Command-Shift-P and I can type Sources and it'll bring me straight to this panel. There's a lot of different commands in there and you get to see what they are with autocomplete. So now that I'm in sources, I can press just command P and open up any of the files that are over here in my files or in my network tab. So for instance, I know that I want to open app.js. I can do that here. And one more time, that's command P. And let's say I want to open the controller .js. I can open that as well. All right, let me close this and I want to demonstrate a find in all files. That's command option F. That brings up this particular window. I'm going to turn off regular expressions here. And let's say I know a line of code that I'm working on has the word new to do. And then this gives me all the places in the code where new to do is actually written. There's a ton of other useful shortcuts in here but I did want to share with you the ones that I use day to day. Okay, so make sure that you learn these keyboard shortcuts that I have right here behind my big ugly mug.